we made it to Conant Creek. We're outside of Ashton, Idaho. Targhee National Forest. Came here last year, I think it was. This is where my grandfather grew up and did all his fishing. You probably heard that story though. But, uh, truck here. Just came in and um, set up last night. That's pretty much it. Nothing real special. But I'd show you around camp though, what we've got going on here. First of all, we got Baxter and Natalie's making breakfast over there. I like that. You're probably wondering what this is. This is our bear fence. There are grizzly bears here. So, let's take a closer look at this. Okay, I know you're wondering how to set one up for yourself, so I'm going to make this very simple because there were not very simple videos out there when I was putting it together. Uh, D&B is a ranch supply. Just go to a ranch supply place. These were $2.50. Plastic with a metal stake at the bottom. I got 10 of those. The charger here. You want at least one output. One joule output. This one's good for 25 miles. I don't have the ideal setup here. I'm just using a uh, DeWalt battery charger or for jump starter. Um, so I have coming off of the electric fence charger or whatever you want to call it this is the power supply now you can have one that plugs into the wall outlet or you can get this kind that has clips for battery that's uh, pretty important make sure you get the right one if you get one that has the wall you're gonna have to take it back or clip it off and make your own wires so from your battery source to the uh, charger, electric fence charger. After that, you're gonna have a ground, which is a green one. Just a bare wire, you're gonna have to buy it and run it to a stake. This is about a four foot stake driven into the ground. You're gonna have to buy this little adapter to put your ground to the stake and drive it in. All right, that's the ground. After that, power, the red one, goes to the fence itself. In this case, I've got one continuous loop, and I'll explain that in a second. But you have to buy this wire separate, and in my case, what I did was I started the fence right here. I ran it down to the next one, all the way around the perimeter, and I brought it back to the gate area here. And then you can see, when it came here, I dropped it down, and I went back all the way back the perimeter to here. I dropped it down another level all the way back all the way back and terminated here. So it's one continuous loop. If you don't do it that way alright, if you run three separate strands you're gonna have to power the first strand and then I have the adapter in the truck I just didn't uh, bring it out. I don't need it. There's an adapter that's just like this. It goes from this strand to this strand to this strand. So you're powering all three separately. And that's really all there is to the electric fence. Um, there is a tester right here. It says fence okay, that will flash when you have power to it. That's how you can know. The other way is just grab the fence. I'm not gonna do it, but I guess you could. And uh, that keeps bears out. The other thing I wanna add was, um, first of all, I I'm not 100% sold on uh, this fence opening, the gate here, okay? I just kind of did this because it was easy. Okay, you can even see it. Back up. I just did that because it was easy. In the future, I think I'll take this stake here and I'll move it inside of here. So now you have to make an S, like a serpentine, to, uh, to get out. And that'll keep critters from coming in easily. I fully realized something could come through here, but this was a test run. I also put chem lights 
on here for at night if we had to get out. Um, and that's about that. The other, th oh, white. So this is the, I think it's the quarter inch poly tape. I can't remember. It comes in a spool of 600 plus yards or something. So um, any tape or wire is fine. What, let me flip around here. What, um, what I, I like about this one though is it's white, so it's a visual deterrent. Uh, animals can see it, as well as the posts are white, so it's it's highly visible. And uh, that's about it. It's I think it works pretty good. No bears came in last night, so it must work, right? <laughs>